are now on the farm of La Conquera, which is a regenerative farm of 1,100 hectares in the south of Spain. We feel particularly connected to the landscape which red thread is the river, so the Kipa River. So anything we're calling now our landscape actually this watershed that we are at the head of and it continues further down. Here we are in an area which officially is characterized as semi-arid, but we're not a desert. It's really a place of extremes. It's quite challenging. You really feel the huge differences. It's this feeling of being like in a desert area, right? With very big temperature changes between day and night, with like almost a 30 degrees difference you can have at certain points of the year, with this huge difference between summer and winter, where you have heat, 30 degrees drought in the summer, and then one meter of snowfall in the winter but the past four years have been changing radically and indeed the, the usual rainfall pattern completely disrupted. No snow in the winter, so it's a very rough place for, for humans, for vegetation, for, for anything really. The biggest challenge this farm faces is that the water is over at some point, which means the spring runs dry. Uh, we have to tank water from somewhere else or we have to move. Well, this spring and many other down here and all the surface water down here, which are contaminated highly with nitrates. This spring is probably on the verge of being too contaminated by nitrates because of intensive cultivation fertilizers pig slurry from intensive pig farms. So it's not only a problem of quantity, but also of quality. So you're just basically bumping into a lot of disastrous situation if we don't manage to stop this soon. So it's not too far from being real. I feel like we're literally on the verge of that. And um, yeah, we're just on the front line. It's obvious to all of us that there's a climate change going on. Uh, you can feel in, in different parts of the farm where the land has been managed differently. You can feel what does it mean to be in an area which is more biodiverse, which is healthier, which is more varied, where erosion is controlled, where the rain stays and infiltrates slowly when there is a microclimate where there is biodiversity. Honestly, it looks like a desert, even if it's farmland. And it's just, yeah, massive amounts of land that are just bare and naked. This farm is interesting because it's experimenting on a lot of different levels. It's one of the biggest regenerative farms in Spain which means that it's implementing regenerative practices, which are more sustainable ways of managing the land that aim at yeah, regenerating the soil, the biodiversity, livelihoods, water cycles. So it's different techniques that go from killing less the land to diversifying crops, to doing reforestation and implementing biodiversity hedges to connect with wildlife corridor, different parts of the farm, creating ponds and swales for rainwater harvesting, using varieties that are resistant to this climate and local varieties. So on a lot of different levels, changing farming practices. It's a huge experimental side, which is actual experimentation and research that works investigating, researching new practices, new ways of both from business to agriculture to more like social interactions, how to actually bring regenerative farming forward. So there's that also giving people the chance to connect with the land from a real practical perspective and through experiences on the farm. And at the same time, the agricultural business, let's say, is trying to 
find new ways of giving higher values to the products of the farm and selling through different channels, which are not the like the huge and biggest companies that actually retail companies and actually finding more business to business channels or more local channels and alternative ways of selling the products and processing the products and creating added value. What we are doing right now to get to this vision of actually landscape that does define itself as a landscape is we're in the exploratory phase where we're trying to discover as much as possible of what is actually happening on the ground and connecting with people and talking to people and trying to understand what their needs are, what their expectations are for this land, what their desires are. And yeah, it's just gonna involve going slow and creating trust in each other.